Okay, let's bring him out of this turn and stop. Oh. Very good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fit to Be Tied. My name is Jim Stockdale. I'm the author of the book, Fit to Be Tied. These videos are designed to help you with your spiritual maturity and your discipleship journey. So whether you're watching these videos alone or with a group, I want to say welcome to you and thank you for participating. This, this is my office chair. This was my office chair for, for many years while I cowboyed throughout the Dakotas and broke horses. And, uh, you know, I, I brought some accoutrements of the trade that I, I know that many of you are probably not accustomed to, not, not familiar with. So for those of you that are cowboys by trade and, and horse breakers and, and uh, horse people, I want to say thank you for participating, but give me, some, give me some leverage here. Give me a little leeway. There's a lot of people watching that have never, they, they've never seen most of this stuff. They don't know what it is. So, so grant me a little license to, to help those that don't know what you and I take for granted and normal everyday tools of the trade. Fit to be tied is all about learning how to follow the master. Somebody says, well, I want to be led by God. But the question is, are you willing to be tied? Because the truth is, the best method to teach a cult to lead is to tie him up. So if you've read the book, and if you, I want to say to you, if you haven't read the book, please don't try to do the lessons because the lessons are not going to make, they're, they're not going to make any sense to you. I guess I should get it the right way. The lessons aren't going to make sense to you until you've read the book. So each chapter of the book has a, has a corresponding lesson that goes with it. That will, that will go into depth and, and help you to study and mine out some of, the, some of the nuggets and jewels that the Lord has given me. And it's, it's, quite, it's quite interesting just to consider the simplicity of horse breaking and how complex our lives are, but how the two can relate. So I hope you'll take the journey with me. There's a couple things you need. I, I, want, you to, I want you to get a pad. You, you need a pad. You need a highlighter because I want you to highlight through the book and, and you need a pen or a pencil because there, there are places for you to actually work in this book. Look, this is a workbook. So what that means is you're, there's going to be places for you to fill in. There's going to be a lot of questions to answer. It's all about getting to the roots of your problems because until we, until we mine out the real problem, then our discipleship doesn't progress. You know, Becoming a believer is free. I mean, you can get saved. It doesn't cost you anything. That costs him everything. But to become a disciple, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you everything, to be, to be fair with you. And, and so in this book, we, we, want to, we want to teach you how to do that. So whether you're by yourself or in a group, however you're studying this, this little manual, I pray that it'll be a blessing to you. I want you to take time to read every chapter in the book before you before you attempt to do anything in the workbook because they correspond, they go together. So th there's a few things that I, that I want you to know. The purpose is to assist people on their journey of faith. That's, that's the whole point is I want to help you. In fact, the whole point in making these videos is to enhance the study. Now, I'm not going to teach the lessons. I'm only going to introduce them, and, and then you're going to teach yourselves. Perhaps there's a group leader that's going to lead your discussions. But this is a participation sport, so it's going to require that you participate and become a part of it. So, so get you the, 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 the needed equipment. One more thing that I want you to have, I want you to have a piece of rope because we're going to do a little bit of a, a, a quiz. I want to know what your rope looks like. We, we're going to talk about that in the very first lesson. So, so, so bring a piece of rope to your class, and, and in fact, if, if you're instructing the class, maybe you want to have some extra rope there just in case somebody forgets to bring theirs. But, but this, is, this is all about giving in to the pressure of the rope. Because when, when God gets ready to, to lead you, I can assure you that he's going to tie you to something. It may not be something that you think you really deserve. It, it may not be something that is something you really want to do. But I promise you, if you won't fight the rope, if you, if you will not pull back and keep pressure, but you will step up and put slack in the rope, I can assure you God's going to take you places you've never dreamed you could go. And you're going to do things that you didn't ever imagine doing all because you stepped in and obeyed God, followed Him. So you want to be led by God? Well, let's find out whether you're fit to be tied.
I hope you enjoy the lessons. Thank you for being a part. Thank you for your participation. And please share with someone else your journey of faith and how fit to be tied has helped. Hey, God bless you. Look forward to the rest of the videos and being with you then.